Hi there, welcome to Jen's Little Place. Um, it's been a minute since I've done a video, but um, today I thought I'd share with you my life planner because it's kind of my brain most of the time, and this one's new to me. I just started using it about three weeks ago or four maybe. It was in October sometime, and so I thought I'd share with you kind of how it's working for me. This is the Mombi M A M. B I create 365 the happy planner it's me and my big ideas that's what mom B stands for anyway this is the one I chose the cover that I picked and these are removable this is a disc bound system which I have used before and and therefore I own a punch that does this because I've done this system before and really like it because it's very, very customizable to what you need. And um, I actually think maybe I'll zoom in for you just a little bit if I can. And um, so this is black with a little bit of a gold heart. I bought this at Michael's with a coupon. It was $25.99 and then I had a 40% off coupon. Now, this... The pockets are an add-on thing I bought separately for $8. It came in a package of, I think, four different, and they're really nice material, like heavy cardstock. And then this is Hello, This Planner Belongs to Plan a Happy Life. And she turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans. thought that was a pretty nice saying. And each um, of the dividers are tabbed with a month. This one is July. That's where it started. But when you go to it, each one has either a design or a quote. And it says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And on the coordinating page on the other side, it has like July birthdays, special events, important dates. This month is Independence Day, you know, it says, and then goals, and don't forget. And I just really kind of like how that's set up. Um, then, let's see, we'll go to November. Here's November. I covered up some things with sticky notes that were kind of personal information that I didn't need to share. But um, these were the birthdays, um, November goals. I have one, Christmas shopping. Um, special events, we had several. Um, and, um, then don't forget Christmas shopping. <laughs> I have a whole separate holiday planner and I did a video on it last year and it's not going to be a whole lot different this year than it was last year. So I can link that video below as well. And this says, let life surprise you. Well, I don't know about your life, but I don't have any trouble with life surprising me. <laughs> and then there's a month overview, a month on two pages. Um, I used some washi tape to block off this because my kids are out of school for Thanksgiving. Um, this was just some birthdays and some plans that we had. Um, haircuts and orthodontists and things like that. And then here is a daily, um, or the month, this is a week on two pages. And this is like a kind of a bookmark that lets you know exactly where to turn to get to your week on two pages. And at the bottom, it says it has something um, kind of inspirational written, not on every time, but oh, up several of the weeks throughout the year. This one says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. So I thought that was pretty nice. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's down here. And I put some stickers on here. Um, I don't go... Sometimes I, I decorate more than other times. It just depends on what's going on. This is a sticker that I actually remove and move to the next week each time because my daughter has gymnastics every Tuesday evening, so I can move that each time. It's a Martha Stewart teardrop sticker, and they stay sticky for quite some time. And... I haven't really planned much for the week so far. I don't really have a lot of appointments or anything this week, which is nice because um, last week we absolutely did. There was a lot. So it's kind of good that I have a little bit of time this week that isn't completely booked. 
Um, and then, you know, starting in December, there'll be more things. And um, this one doesn't have a quote. It just is zigzaggy, and I can decorate it with stickers and, you know, Christmassy things if I want to. And we have some things planned already, and, you know, different things like that. And then at the very end of the planner, and there are other add-on things you can you can buy. I just didn't because I don't really need them. There's a note page at the end, and then I have another um, folder pocket that I keep stickers in that I use. And that is it. That's the end of my planner. And I really, really am really liking this planner. And like I said, I own a punch that does this. So I can add more things to it that I don't necessarily have to buy at Michael's because I can punch them to do that. But they sell everything you need and you don't have to buy a punch for it. Anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope that it, this review or walk through kind of helps you decide if this might be something you might want to use for 2016. And I hope you all are having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.